Yes, good boy. In this episode. Okay, okay. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Patty and I want to introduce to you Dean, my Caucasian of Charka. So he's two years old and five months. He's a giant breed so he's considered a puppy until he reaches two years old. We're a little into our adulthood but he still acts like a puppy. Well, for us, he will forever be a puppy. For this episode, I wish to show you how I grew my Caucasian of Charka. It's a little different from grooming my Cha Cha Mello because of the size difference. You can't just bring him into the bathroom and just, you know, give him a bath there because our bathroom is fairly small. Back when he was a puppy, he was like about this size. It was easy to bring him inside the bathroom and give him a bath there. But right now it's a bit of a challenge. So where we give him a bath is where we normally bring him out to potty. We have a pocket garden outside, a mini garden. That's where he goes to potty and that's where we also give him a bath. Now, just to give you an idea how big he is, he is 33 inches when he's standing, 33 inches tall. And last time we weighed him at the vets, because they're the only ones that have that weighing scale that's big enough for a giant breed like him, he clocked in at 60 kilograms, so that's about uh, 130 plus pounds. So he's heavier than I am. <laughs> All our dogs stay inside and because it's the summertime, we have to turn on the AC for the most part of the day because we don't want them to overheat. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the important thing to note about um, double-coated doggies when you give them a bath, you have to make sure that they're totally dry and no part of their skin, no part of their fur is left moist or wet because you don't want them to get Hot spots. It's an infection that can get itchy and then they nip at it. It's not only itchy, it can get really painful. When they start scratching, it gets even more infected and it gets wider and bigger, so you don't want that to happen. He actually had a hot spot right here, this part right here. Not because we didn't dry him enough after bath, but because this guy drools a lot. He's a drooler, as most giant dogs are, so he drools a lot and his neck gets wet and then he would rest his chin on this paw so if you're not very quick in wiping it or making sure that it's dry there he, he started nipping at it but what I did was I clipped the fur on top of it I also clipped the fur around it just to make sure that the hot spot is exposed make sure it's clean you clean the wound it's already healing that was two weeks ago so again what you do try to clip on top of the fur and around it so as to help dry the wound. Some people put a cone on their dogs but there's not a cone big enough to fit his head so we just try to train him and say no when he tries to lick it or tries to scratch it. We say no and he follows because he's a good boy. Right? So after taking a bath, we dry them. We use a very absorbent microfiber towel. Like I said, we have to make sure that they're totally dry. Before clipping his nails, I also wipe and clean their ears because he has floppy ears. I didn't have them cropped as a puppy. I, I wanted to keep his ears because most Caucasian of Charkas, the breed standard, would have you crop their ears at a very young age and I didn't want to do that. We kept his ears, but unlike Mello's upright ears, right? Show them your ears. Mello has upright ears, whereas this guy has floppy ears. And floppy ears mean moisture. And moisture means 
mites. You have to make sure that you clean their ears all the time, especially after bath. You clean it and then you dry it properly. I went to Japan and I got these dog ear wipes. They're very effective. I don't know if you can read them. What does it say, Melo? Does you just open it? It's so deep. It's wonderful when you travel and you find stuff for your pets. That's the first thing I do. I go around and look for stuff for my pets. They also have teeth wipes. They have another brand. As if I could read Japanese. So got a Dremel. He's okay with it, but Mello isn't. So with Mello, you have to have him smell it first. Yeah, so he doesn't get freaked out. That's what you call desensitizing the doggy. How about you? This is for your nail. But I don't really have to file or clip their nails as often because we walk them. We, we get to walk them. <laughs> We get to walk them daily, so their nails are filed naturally. <laughs> what are you doing, me? <laughs> what I use for both Melo and Dean is I have one slicker brush. I use a slicker brush, and it's used. <laughs> slicker brush, and after the slicker brush, when they're fully groomed, just to finish it, it's called uh, a finishing comb. You want to walk? You want to walk? You want to walk? Okay, let's go. Let's go. And with that, I say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and with that, I wish you all a good day and until the next video. Okay. Thank you for watching.